Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. Happy 18th of June, everybody. Uh, for day 18, we are on section 19. So I think this is one that I thought had a bit of colour. Uh, it's not too much of sort of the ribbon, uh, but we do have a bit of colour in this one. Uh, today I am going to use one of our thick resin pens. The blue one is actually thicker than the likes of the pink one. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but it is slightly thicker than the pink one. So if you need a really thick pen, uh, this is good. That's our thin resin pens, hence we call them thin, and they're our metal ones, so that's probably the thinnest one of them all. But I thought I'd just show you the comparisons uh, before we started on today's section. I don't think I have... It's not the washi tape isn't splitting apart, so I'm not actually sure if I have cut through this section enough. So I'm just going to try and go over it again. It's normally the bits where the washi tape meet up that I get a little bit. It ends up being a little bit worse. But there we go. That is done. So let's see. I was thinking of doing it on its, on its end like I did this section. But I actually think the folded up might work, folded over just a little bit might work a bit better. I do feel as though I, the section doesn't take quite as long when I'm doing it in that direction. I don't know why, it's probably some in my head thing. But you know, we're just going to keep rolling with the in my head things. Uh, I have pinched the tip of the pen out of the blue one that I used yesterday. So I have got putty in this pen again because that's what was in the tip of the blue one. Try and get those as straight as possible, though I don't think I have. But I hope everybody is having a wonderful Monday, as wonderful as a Monday may be. Um, and it's not Monday. How bad am I? I'm filming this for Sunday. <laughs> Goodness me, I'm losing it. Okay, I hope you're all having a great Sunday. I do apologise. Every now and then, because I film... I filmed the day before, so I am filming this on the Saturday for Sunday. Every now and then I get confused on which days it is. Which days it isn't. I get confused saying, oh, a giveaway's closed. And then I think, did I do a giveaway yesterday? Did I not? Even though I still do them a day apart, my brain gets frazzled up. But yes, yesterday's giveaway it's closed. It is Sunday, not Monday, and I do still hope you are all having a great Sunday. And for some reason, all my comments shot to the top. So I am still a few days behind with comments. I am trying to catch up as much as possible, but if not, I'm sure, well, I will catch up on future Whip and Waffles. I might do the odd longer one on a Sunday until we're a little bit more caught up. Uh, but Liz, she says, thanks for a lovely whip and waffle. She says, after finishing her June canvas, she has gone back to her mystery canvas from Diamond Art Club. She said her challenge is to now finish it before the 30th of June. She said she's just over two rows, which is 13 and a bit pieces of release paper, and she's sure it can be done. And she left that comment on the 12th, so it wouldn't surprise me if she is well on her way to finishing that one by the end of June. Um, <laughs> Anika Crafts says, yes, please, she really needs that case. Um, Yes, yeah, so the case was won by Gemma. 
Um, so uh, sorry Anika that you didn't win that one but you never know what will happen in the future. Uh, Kaz says hi Rebecca she says she has just gone in from work so she's putting her feet up as she has one of those days where she wishes she could pull her brain out sometimes. Pull it out and give it a reset or pull it out and just sit it to the side so the day just you know goes as it goes and you don't have to play a part in it. <laughs> one of those days. Uh, Catherine she said hey she said this is my first ever comment so hello Catherine she says she's been lurking for a while and um, she's pretty shy with getting things read out loud and um, well hopefully I do this justice for you uh, and it won't be as bad next time uh, she says she loves watching the whip, my whip and waffles as they really help her to concentrate on her own. Currently, she's working on finishing a custom painting her partner bought her. It was supposed to be an anniversary present, but he let her have it early. What a sweetie. Um, she said she's been very on and off with diamond painting. She says uh, she suffers from ADHD uh, and the massive amount of one colour at a time uh, tends to make her mind wander elsewhere, she says, no matter how much she tries um, to focus on a painting. She says she's been a game developer for the past two years, working on a 5M gaming community server. Ooh, which 5M is basically a role play experience, she said in GTA. Uh, the logo she designed is what he turned into a custom and it's finally nearly complete. Amazing. She said, sorry for the extremely long first comment. Oh, believe me, that's not extremely long. <laughs> it always seems longer when it's typed out to when it's spoken. Uh, she says, but is there a tip you would provide that might help me with the massive colour blocks? She says, please and thank you. She also says she can't wait um, to see my finished heaven and earth design. Um, she says she does. She has added to the comments uh, one day ago. So a few days after leaving a comment she has added to the comment again to say uh, she had she finally finished her diamond painting yesterday so she's so happy now she said on to the next so in relation to the color blocking with your ADHD um, there's a couple of things one I suggest sort of over another um, but you know different tricks as I call them or I call them fixes <laughs> fixes for different traits and it's not really a fix because ADHDers don't need to fix things um but it's yeah it's it's a mechanism um that could be helpful when color blocking if you're finding that your mind's wandering then the likes of I find an audio book really helps because then my mind is on the audio book but I'm kept busy by doing the blocks of colour. So at the moment it's not an audio book that's, that's making this block of colour not be a problem at all. It is um, chatting to you guys but an audio book would do the same sort of thing. So your mind doesn't wander the same because you've got something else to focus it on. So that would be my probably main one is either some form of TV show or some form of audio book that can take your attention, not too much, but enough for you to be able to do the colour blocking while not have your mind wander while you're doing the colour blocking. Um, the second thing would be to actually break it up and have a couple of paintings on the go at the same time. Um, 
which may feel like it takes longer to get through the one that's colour blocking, which may be why it might or might not work for you. Um, if you want to feel as though you're completing it as quick as possible, having a second painting on the go is not going to help you achieve that. But the other thing I'd say is if you've got paintings with lots of colour blocking that you love and you want to do, but then you have a lot of confetti paintings, is kit up one of each and do both in, you know, one diamond painting session, whenever that may be. So do one section of your colour blocking and when you find your mind starting to wander, move to your confetti one. Um, and then you get to do both uh, and you get to enjoy it. It will just take a little bit longer to get both of them done, but it will keep you active with it. Hopefully that will help, but I am so happy that you have finished your custom of the logo that you designed. Uh, you must be so proud to have that in a diamond painting as well as knowing you created it as well. Awesome news for both. Uh, Donna, she said she thinks doing lids would be amazing. Uh, she said she would say, though, you can do them randomly. So we could choose the colour of the tray and the lid could be different, if not a random colour. Uh, she said she entered the giveaway with her YouTube channel name. She said she's pretty sure she just put her name last time. She said, great video. Well, we don't compare them against the last lot of entries. Um, we deal with one lot of entries for one giveaway at a time. So I'd have no idea what you put on your last one unless you were a winner. That's that's the only time that we double check. Of course, everything is when somebody's a winner. Um, Jackie, she says, oh, she says she loves the spin selection idea. So she'll have to incorporate that. Yes, there's been many tips and tricks shared on multi-placing or on giving, giving symbols funny names. That's been fun, this whip and waffle. But I must say, I'm pretty sure it was Grey Legrand suggested putting a free spin on your decision wheel so that you get to choose which painting you want to do. Um, or in turn, I think I'm going to incorporate it in two ways. So I'm going to have a free spin, but then I'm going to have a free spin but by manufacturer. So I can pick which painting, but from a certain company. Um, and yeah, I really like that idea. I've already put the free section, the free spin, onto each of my wheels. Um, depending on how many paintings you've got, you may need to put it on more than once. Um, depending on how many paintings you have in your stash. But I love the idea of the free spin. And I reckon there'll be quite a few people that will be adding that to their decision wheels if they use them. Um, Oh, Amy says she's, happy, she's having to move stuff around in her living room for safety as there is a leak thanks to the storm. Ooh, the rain did come down pretty heavy in one of the storms that we had, I know that much. It was actually hearing the rain on the roof that alerted me to the fact that it was raining in the first place. Uh, Lady Dax, she said, whoever wins the case is going to be thrilled with it. Uh, she said she has the same one and it is fantastic. Uh, she said, good luck to all. She said her pulmonary rehab course is going very well. She said it is hard work, uh, but her breathing is so, so much better. Well, that's good. At least you are seeing the rewards of your hard work, um, which is really good. Because without seeing the rewards, the motivation just goes. <laughs> uh, Jackie said she loved the ending of day 12 on a tease. I think that was a tease in relation to what square was next. I try not to look most days or I forget to look and shut my laptop and move it out of the way. Um, but yeah, occasionally I just cannot help myself. 
<laughs> I just want to have a look and see what it is. Uh, Sparkle It Up says she is working on Pride by Jojo's Art for June Waffle and for Pride Month. Uh, she says she doesn't know when she will get it finished, seeing as though it's so big. Uh, but she is doing a big section each day. As long as you are enjoying it, you don't have to finish a painting by the end of June. It purely depends on how much time you may or may not have to be able to get stuff done as to whether you can get it finished. But getting some done is the main part because that's the me time. Um, Myra, there's quite, a, there's quite a bit after that. I'm trying to pull out the section that is somebody's name. Uh, she says she is still going strong with her painting and she thanks me for the company. You are so welcome. Um, I'm loving, say, I'm just loving Whip and Waffles, I do. I just can't keep it up every day of the year. <laughs> um, Mot Nuts Crazy World, she says hi from Crisfield, Maryland in the USA. She said, wow, she said she did not know the Art Dot do a case that big. You should see the one that's bigger. That's not even their biggest. Um, she says uh, she's loving the canvas. She says she's caught up on her canvas for the June Waffle. She's also working on four other canvases for other events. Uh, she's been diamond painting for a year and a half now uh, and she's done over 44 canvases and off the canvas projects. Uh, she said this is her very first time doing the June Waffle and she's loving this event. Uh, she said it gave her the reason to do a 30 by 30 uh, that she's been putting off since she got it 10 months ago. Uh, she says she looks forward to your June waffle, to my June waffle videos. Uh, she puts it on while she listens and diamond paints away. Well, I'm glad this was your motivation to get your Nemesis painting done. Uh, there's quite a few people that are doing canvases that are harder for them for whatever reason. Uh, multiple different reasons as to why the canvases are a bit harder to do. Um, but yeah, there's been some lovely completions of paintings already. It's like it just gives everybody the drive to get to get the stuff done, which is great because they're getting me time in the process. <laughs> um, Tiffany said, thank you for doing all the giveaways. You're welcome. Um, Amy said uh, she also saw my video on the art dot case a couple of days ago. She said she knew she needed to keep her eye out for it. Yes, I did a video. I made a boo boo um, because I contacted art dot. Well, they were contacting me about an unboxing that's coming in July. Um, and I mentioned about needing a large case ready for a Diamond Art Studio restock of their over 190 colour paintings. And um, yeah, they very kindly sent me a gorgeous, pretty case. And I completely forgot at the time that the 40, the 240 bottle case that I'd already unboxed on my channel in purple that was sat on my shelf, um, on my bookshelf, not yet used, would have in fact been big enough because I would never have asked for a case big enough if there already was one. Um, but yeah, they were very kind in letting me pass that one on for a giveaway and continue to use and use the pink one um, for doing one of the Diamond Art Studio ones once they are restocked. 
I'm still not sure which one. I might do a poll when it comes to it and see which one people would like to see because they're actually both stunning, stunning pictures. But I reckon that will be a bit of a, a longer term project, that one. Be a bit like my mystery, more like doing one section and then moving on to another painting. So I think what I might do for a, for a bit anyway is stick with having uh, two or three large paintings kitted up and um, yeah so stick with two or three large paintings being kitted up and try and work through sort of a few of them at once. They will finish at different speeds uh, depending on of course the complexity of them um, and there's some of them like the mystery and the diamond art studio one I would only do one section and then I would move on to another one whereas another painting um, if it was chosen by my decision wheel I would do a big chunk of it um, before start you know basically I'd do the whole evening doing that one so there'll be some that will get completed a lot quicker but yeah it'll help me get through some of my large painting stash as well because while I have a few 30 by 30s or less I don't have gazillions of them so I think I'm going to put them on pause for a little bit and get through some big ones instead I'm just working on different ones to change things up I've got my mini ones to keep me busy uh, Beverly said she is finishing up her dreamer designs painting that she started on May the 1st she said she loves all these videos that's what I'm doing when I have finished this video I am going and working on my dreamer designs I think I am going to spin the wheel my decision wheel uh, so if it lands on my mystery painting I will do one section of my mystery painting from Diamond Art Club and then I will work on my dreamers designs because uh, I still haven't kitted up an aura lower one ready to do with it to be my third because I do want three uh, but it's been too hot to do a video on kitting it up so rather than not have a video on it at all I am waiting um, so I'll spin my decision wheel and if it picks the mystery then I'll do a section of that before I move on to my dreamer designs if it picks my dreamer designs then I shall work on my dreamers designs all evening and I don't mind which because I do enjoy I know the mystery is going to be more of a long-term project it's not going to get picked first all the time and because it's not going to get picked first all the time it's not and I'm only doing one section, it's not going to get completed as quick as any others. Um, but it is nice being able to have, you know, one or eventually two paintings in the mix to do. So my plan is to do this whip and waffle and then um, spin the wheel and see. I'm kind of hoping it will pick the mystery painting. And there's a reason for it that I've just sort of thought of as I'm saying it, because that's how my brain works, um, is I'm kind of hoping that it picks the mystery painting, because if it does, I will do a section on the mystery painting. And then if I'm, you know, not completely in the diamond painting zone and switched off for the rest of the evening, then I might come in and kit up uh, the Aura Lower painting that I've actually scheduled to have the video in the middle of July um, but I might kit it up so that when I do spin my wheel it's included I'm not yet sure I know which one I want to do as well so I'm kind of excited to kit up another large painting and the more it, the more it's not included in my potential to diamond paint that evening um, the quicker I'm likely to finish my dreamers designs and then not have a second large painting to do 
or not have you know the variety and only have my mystery painting to do which I kind of want to spread out I'm enjoying spreading that one out um, Claire she says she's enjoying my June waffle she says she only joined from last Friday, June the 9th, um, as she had lost her mojo, she said, for about a month. Uh, she said she still watched my videos uh, and it made her feel her mojo again. And she's now enjoying participating. Oh, wonderful. I'm so happy that you've got it back. It does disappear for a while. And sometimes, you know, it happens. You just need to let it sort of come back on its own. But sometimes, you know, keeping an interest in the hobby, whether it be in videos or taking the time out to tidy up your stash or something, just while you're waiting for it to return, um, can make you feel even better when it does return. So, um, yeah, so I'm so happy that you're back. <laughs> uh, pinkies, pinkies says hi Rebecca she says another great waffle she says thanks and she said thank you for the giveaway opportunity as well she said that art dot case is so nice she said she has picked up a bit of speed today uh, and placed about one drill for every one drill of mine yay <laughs> She said tweezers do take time uh, and she does lose quite a few drills. Uh, but it's worth it, she says, on important canvases. Uh, she said she loves the way hers is emerging. She also says she's been using her Admore Zest tray in royal blue. Uh, and love the height of the side, she says, and the way that the drills line up. Uh, she's looking forward to owning more colours uh, and she was. She said she was able to snap up the pink glitter zesty tray uh, and she's looking forward to its arrival. She said she sure is enjoying the June waffle as so many are. She said thanks. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And I've got, you know, the motivation and the trays helping. And, you know, apart from the odd diamond flinging through the air, you're having a good time, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, uh, Amy said something about having things set up like mine at first. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Amy said she will put something in the group, so I'll have a look in the group for a post. Um, I'm just not quite sure what she's saying. So rather than trying to say it badly, um, I will have a look in the group. Uh, Susan, she says, hi, Rebecca. She said, thanks for today's video slash visit. She said she adored Grey Legrand's, it was Grey Legrand's suggestion to put the free space on the Tiny Decisions app. She said absolutely brilliant. She said she has recently revamped her decision wheels. Ooh. Um, she has one for large square a, one for large round, one for small square and one for small round. She said for new kit ups. She says she also has a wheel that has all of her paintings if she doesn't have a preference as to which type is next. Uh, she says she's going to make one like mine for my current whips. Um, but all of her decision wheels now have a tiny little free choice space, thanks to Grey Legrand. Oh, should I put a free space in my whips wheel? Ooh, because then if it chose that today, I could decide to do a mystery section and then see if I feel like doing a kitting up video because I do need to cool down in between while the temperature is a lot nicer today 
um, and there is a nice breeze when you're outside when you're trapped in trapped in this small room with the door closed it does get rather warm after a while um, and a, a preparation video can be a longer one so I would definitely need to cool down in between um, she said today she is finishing off her colourful pug that she started at the beginning of June she said her next kit up tonight is the mystery kit that I'm working on Ooh, exciting um, she says love from Canada I'm sure you will enjoy the mystery kit I've only done one strip so far so I'm working on its side on the side of it um, and I have the thin well the the smaller the three by four inch cover paper pieces and I've done one strip across so a three inch strip across the bottom or across the left hand side is all that I've done so far um, but it is nice seeing it come together um, it's really fun I've not hit any of the fairy dust diamonds yet though so I do have some in the kit there is one of them but I haven't yet come across a section that needs them placing down so we'll see how soon it takes for those to appear uh, Janita said it is pouring with rain where she is well hopefully it's a welcome rain for you rather than a you're sick of the sight of it kind of rain uh, Mummy's Escape says hi Rebecca she says great waffle she says she didn't do her whip today as her new art dot small cases arrived so she did a temu diamond painting order to do for a christmas present she said sorry you don't need to be sorry you're still doing things that are me time even if they're not putting diamonds on a canvas uh, she said so she kitted it up ready for christmas in july uh, she said also she listened uh, slash watches YouTube uh, when she does the dishes as hubby is normally in the garden pottering uh, she said she store her, stores her paintings hung up with a poundland canvas bag for the drills and kits etc she says thank you for all that you do ah I'd love to have a wardrobe for my diamond paintings. How awesome would that be? I'm just going to go shopping in my wardrobe and figure out which diamond painting I'd like to do next. <coughs> you could slide them and flip through them. It'd need more space than my clothes, though. That's the only problem. <laughs> um, Parker says uh, she loved all the colours in this one. It was so pretty uh, and the purples are all gorgeous. Thank you. They are very, very nice purples. It's actually quite nice that I'm doing a little bit more purple on this section. Um, because yesterday's Whip and Waffle I filmed on the day. So basically I filmed it today to go up today. And now I'm filming tomorrow's today gets confusing um so yeah it's quite nice that i have a little bit more purple to put on this one to sort of vary it up a little bit but it is um father's day tomorrow so while hubby is more than happy for me to do some filming um i want to ensure that i've got tomorrow's done so that there's no time frame on it so I can just fit in with however our day goes um, he's like but yes you can film I can just lie down on the couch and watch a film <laughs> so it's like okay then perfect excuse you lie on the couch and watch a film and I will do my whip and waffle and get to diamond paint so that'll be good uh, Ginny Janita says even her parrot has gotten used to my waffles beautiful hello parrot um 
Helen, she says, she too is like me. She said, as she has gone along, um, she has changed what she likes in a painting. She said she started by loving big landscapes, uh, but she started not enjoying lots of trees and green. So she's been buying more people or animals and other images, she says, that has lots of colour and details. Uh, she says she loves squares, but she likes to have a few rounds to change it up sometimes. Uh, and she likes to do some smaller ones to keep it all interesting. She said she doesn't do a many landscapes anymore. I think often when you first diamond paint, you, you're thinking this needs to go up on a wall in my home. Like you're thinking artwork that you like. Um, so I love artwork with trees etc in um on the walls you know it depends like it, it there's yeah there's certain types of artwork with trees and stuff in it that i absolutely love and love having up in the house and i think there's still times that i get drawn to images that i think oh that would look nice in that room or that would look nice in another room but i think it was actually doing mother earth which I think got chosen by my decision wheel. But I think it was actually doing that one with lots of bright colours in it that made me go, actually, the process of this one, you know, the actual seeing the bright diamonds in my tray and the picture emerge mm -hmm. with all those pops of colour, I get a real enjoyment out of that. So now it's not a matter of what picture am I going to get because I want to put it in this place or in that place. You know, I've got somewhere it wants to go. Now I'm very much more of what looks fun to do. What part of the process am I going to enjoy? And therefore I'm going for pictures. But not You know, there still is pictures that I like. But it's like, what am I going to enjoy the process of? And as long as I like the picture as well, then it's a go. Um, so, yeah, I've been loving doing bright coloured ones. But then I also enjoy the process, as I've said, of big blocks of like white. So this one is for the process as well, but mixed in with my colour ones for the process. So... Yeah, I like to mix and mix them up a little bit. Um, Janita says if she's not diamond painting, she is making jewellery. Very nice. Nice other hobby to go. And I can imagine if you make, it depends what type of jewellery you're making. But if it does involve beads and things... Maybe some of your storage can intertwine between the two, which is always good. Uh, Crafty Gamer says, loves the waffle and can't wait for the advent release. I know, seems to be getting closer and closer. Though it doesn't help that we're bringing it closer so that people don't panic. <laughs> um, Susan says she's catching up on my videos as she missed a few at the beginning of the month uh, she said it's funny she said last year she was working but still managed to watch and diamond paint every day she says but this year she's retired and she's missed some days that's normally the way it goes you when you're working full-time and stuff and trying to fit something in, you become so structured on the go-go aspect to make sure that you fit stuff in. You often end up doing more when it gets to the point you can actually sort of relax and take your time between things. Um, and it's just why you're getting used to, I suppose, what your retirement routine will be. 
Um, and you may find that you settle yourself into a routine soon. Not a rigid schedule, a nice routine of things that you like to do. Um, and then you may find it easier, but you need to have the, the period of, I will decide what I want to do on the day because I'm retired, part first. <laughs> Uh, she says she thinks she needs to work on her retire retirement time management. Eventually, you need to have the freedom first. Uh, she said also, she says, for what it's worth, she is working on a new Dreamer Designs painting. She says, and the drills and canvas are very much improved from her previous experience with an older painting. That's good. That's what I am hoping. Uh, my two Dreamer designs that, well, one's Megan's, one's mine that we got about a month or so ago, are still in their box. I will get around to unboxing them soon, honest. Um, but yeah, I've just not got around to doing that video yet. There's always been something that's been a priority because it needs to get uploaded first. Um, or something that I want to film ready for something. So, for example, the Diamond Art Club mystery painting. I have filmed the kitting up of that and it will be up. I think it's actually the 2nd of July now because the 1st of Ju No, it's not the 2nd of July. It's the 3rd of July because the 1st of July I need to do my logbook. And the 2nd of July is a whip and chat day. Um so, yeah, unless it's something that sort of I want to kit up for a reason or do the video early for a reason so that I can get on with something in the background or maybe just so that I can tidy up a bit more in the background, um, it doesn't get done. And that Dreamers design box isn't getting in my way, which is why it's still in its box. But it is scheduled in for an unboxing in July, so it will eventually get unboxed. Uh, but I'm so happy that they're nicer. I mean, the one I'm working on at the moment has been completely fine because we are in summertime. I haven't actually had my light pad on for weeks. I haven't had to turn my light pad on at all because it stays light until about 10, half 10 at night and when we first maybe have to turn the overhead light on if we're up a bit later than normal I still don't quite need the light pad yet like the light's not faded enough um, so yeah I've just not bothered with a light pad for weeks now um, so yeah it would be nice to know that a future Dreamer Designs painting won't need to be dictated by the seasons. Um, Ina says she's just discovered that the stickers she used on her last finished painting um, are a pain to get off the bottles. She says she's never seen Gugon. She said so she doesn't know how to spell it right, but she's never seen it in the Netherlands. Uh, and the sticker remover she said that she has makes the tops dull and not as clear as they are new. So she says she won't use that one anymore. She said her tops are all now in a hot bath uh, with a lot of dish soap. She said hopefully that works. Um, Gugon is spelled like that. G-O-O-G-O-N-E. Um, I've not particularly noticed that mine have gone frosty in any way after using it um but amazon would probably be your best bet like i've never seen it in a shop i can't say i've gone looking so it may be that b and q have it tucked somewhere uh, but i've not seen it in a shop here but i was able to get hold of it quite easily off amazon and it's amazing how many other things we've used it for around the house as well that we never had before so it's coming rather handy. Right, do I do this section or do I try and get all the bits done first? I think I'm going to go for the bitty bits. 
Um, Ina also says, she says her next painting is a small one. Um, she said it is a 40 by 30 um, of a frog. She said she liked his look. <laughs> Love it. Um, she says she's going to try out uh, the Elizabeth Ward storage. Uh, and she'll be using washi tape underneath um, her stickers she says thank you for that tip uh, she says thank you very much for the opportunity to win the 240 bottle case you're welcome the giveaways I've loved the giveaway days love them um, JJ Newton said thank you for sharing and love the chat and Janita said thank you for the company. You are both very, very welcome. Um, Elijah, Elijah, I say her name wrong every time. Um, she says will the tray that appears around 57 20 seconds uh she said be restocked it's the bright green one so it's this one um that's a possibility um i will pop it on our list of colors if that's something that people would like to be restocked um you know it it we try and vary things up so that we are doing a variety of colors across the month sometimes we sort of do it a little bit themey so that things match um, and sometimes we don't sometimes we just try and find a nice combination of colors um, you know that look nice or or don't look nasty together but yeah if people want the lime green one again we can put that on our list and it you know it will make it closer to the top than it may do if it's not a requested one because yeah we have actually worked out tray colors until the end of the year um, but next year we haven't started that yet we tend to do them in little six month blocks of what of what the colors are going to be just so that we know and when a print is free I can, and you know I don't have to think oh which one are we going to put on it next um, we like to plan out, We still, you know, not all stock that we're going to release because often some of that is, de is decided by you guys and people asking. Uh, but we do try to plan out at least the trays and the pens. We need to order in quite early from our supplier the pens. So we try to get those sort of in and ready and then throw in the other stock as and when either we have an idea or you guys have an idea of something we should stock. Um, oh, she also says she's, Elias says she's watching this video on the 12th of June and that was day six. So she's watching it on the 12th of June. She says she needs an idea. I, a complete day herself to be able to catch up. She just needs a full day of Whip and Waffles. Uh, Irene said she made a block very late at night. She said, um, as my mum has passed away very evening, to being de-stressed a little bit. I'm not sure... I'm not sure, Irene, if that is your mum's passed away or whether your mum, like, goes to bed for the evening and you get a little bit of time to yourself. I'm not quite sure which which way round that is. Um, if your mum has passed, my condolences. Uh, well and truly, it is not a nice time and you definitely need to de-stress. If it is just you look after your mum and she's gone to bed, then give her an extra hug in the morning. Um, but yeah, enjoy your me time. Uh, Jessie, she says, um, 
Hi, Rebecca. She says she is a consistent lurker. Um, she says, but on the note of the mystery painting, she said, but also having a chance to get one, she said, that you know that you'll like. Uh, she said, Jaded Gem Shop um, provides an option to choose a mystery uh, and she chooses your kit based on notes you leave with your order of what you like. Um, and if you've got it, she'll use your order history as a basis. Um, or you can add to your wish list and she'll sort of choose based on that. Uh, she says you can also get to choose what size painting that you want to do. Uh, and she also smell, sells small sample size cross stitch conversion kits. So you can give it a try without having to commit to a big one and then decide it's not for you. I like that idea. Get yourself a little cross. I mean, I like the mystery idea as well, but I like the cross stitch conversion kit idea that you can sort of give it a go from a chart and see whether it is something that you enjoy or just nope right out of there and go, nope, that's not for me. <laughs> it took me five minutes to determine, but it's not for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the idea of, of people being able to figure out if it will work for them or not. <coughs> uh, Robin said she's so glad that she... Um, that she finally caught up with my waffles. She says her fingers are crossed for the art dot case. Uh, she says she's using June to try and get some of her diamond paintings caught up. She says she has one busy house uh, with 11 people and four generations. <sighs> I don't think I could cope with that right now. Uh, she says, she always says, the more, the merrier. She said, does Megan ever show her artwork? She said she would love to see her finish. Um, she has done on occasion. Um, she will more than likely put a picture up of her Diamond Art Club one she's working on at the moment when she finishes it. You just may find that that's not for another year or so. She's a lot, she doesn't diamond paint anywhere near as much as what I do. So hers do take her a lot longer to get finished. Um, she's working on King's Path by Diamond Art Club and has been for a while. Um, I think she is over halfway, but not like nearly finished over halfway. Um, but yeah, she does enjoy it when she gets when she gets chance to do it. Right, no, let's go with that symbol. I was gonna go with these at the edge, but then they're up there as well. So I'm gonna go for layering them up now. Um, she also says, thank you for everything you do, love from Ohio. Thank you. Uh, Brianne, she said, she was one of the ones that missed the 24 advent calendar last year. She said she did at least get the 12, uh, but she did lose the 24 from her cart during the checkout process. Yeah, it was crazy, crazy last year, but do be assured we have loads more this year, loads more that there shouldn't be any need to sort of panic by this year at all. We have gone big with our numbers. I think the phrase we used was go big or go home. Like if we are doing this, we are not having disappointment. We are getting loads in. Um, she says she'll definitely be logged in uh, and waiting for pre-order to open for her set this year. Well, I say be assured it is not a panic buy situation for pre-order. We have got quite a few hundred in and we are going to release the big chunk of those 
for pre-order. We just may hold some back um, for the actual launch. Um, we're not sure yet. We'll see how the pre-orders go, but we do have loads. She says, thank you so much for another great waffle. She says, they have been a joy for me as she knocks out her whips this summer. Perfect. Get that diamond painting in. We've been a productive little bunch in June. We should give ourselves a pat on the back when we get... Should give ourselves a pat on the back now, never mind when we finish. <laughs> um, Diamond Sparkle Chase, she says she works on her Max Colour Little Dreamers tree. Uh, she says she does sections like me. Uh, she completes about two or three of the sections per day, she says, before she works on her charity ribbon. Uh, she says she has bought Cosmic Trip and she can't wait to get started. That was a fun painting to do. She said she enjoys watching um, our video, my videos every day. She says thank you for your hard work and have a great day. Have a great day yourself. Some good choices in paintings there. I agree. <laughs> I agree with them all. Um, Susan, she says, uh, thanks, Rebecca, for another great waffle. She said today she is working on some sticker sheets that she purchased from AliExpress rather than her mystery painting. She says she's trying to lose a few pounds. Uh, and as she evaluated her downfall moments, um, she realised that they start with Halloween candy. So she decided that she is going to give out stickers and pencils and other items rather than candy so that she doesn't eat the unwanted calories. Uh, she said she hopes it works. Uh, she says any suggestions on sealing the stickers to make sure that the dots don't come off. Um, the, you can get some sealers and stuff from places, but to be honest, what my mum's used with hers is PVA glue or Elmer's glue. I don't know what you call it in what country. Um, but basic PVA glue, the white stuff that you use in school that then dries clear and you used to be able to peel it off your fingers or wherever else it ended up going, just use your basic PVA glue. That's what we sealed. Uh, we sealed a couple of my mum's diamond paintings with that. We also sealed the advent calendar painting. Uh, my mum cut them up individually and they are decorations for her Christmas tree. Uh, we made some of those. We put I put photos up in the group. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I know I put them on a video. I'm pretty sure I put them up in the group as well. So yeah, there are, uh, PVA glue is all we used for that. Squeeze it on, spread it around with a paintbrush and leave it to dry. Um, and that's probably the easiest sealer that you can find. And it should do perfectly fine for the stickers. Unless, of course, said child decides they want to try and pick them off, which for stubborn enough is going to happen. But they will stay on there the whole time you're giving them out anyway. <laughs> Depends on the child. It's the inquisitive ones that like to pick things off. Oh, but then again, they turn out to be engineers and inventors. So it's not a bad thing. Um, Jerry says, hi, Rebecca. Uh, she says she is hoping to win the case um, as it, she has a painting larger than her 60 bottle case. Uh, she says she's not putting drills on her canvas today as she is working on her new logbook. She said just delivered today. Uh, she wanted to get the logbook taken care of uh, before it gets too out of hand. Yeah, that's why I didn't backdate mine at all. Uh, she says she'll probably work on her drill storage system tomorrow while listening to the Whip and Waffle. Uh, she says she's just received five more paintings today. Bring, 
brings her total stash to 15 uh, and four on the way. You know, filling that logbook up quicker than anything else. Uh, she said three of the four are the biggest that she will own at 51 by 73, 52 by 73 and 52 by 62. Awesome. I love mixing in big ones with small ones. Right, I enjoy working on big ones. It's just how long they take that frustrates me. So I'm thinking maybe if I set up more big ones, you know, have like three or four big ones set up, but they start finishing at different times, I'll feel like big ones are finishing, even if I'm still working on a big one. I get this little cycle going, it'd be good. Uh, Laura says she worked until 9pm, uh, but she did get a little done on her butterfly and flowers painting. Uh, she said, here's a little funny story. Uh, she said her husband will ask her in the morning if she didn't get to diamond paint the night before. Uh, because he notices that she's a little cranky. Um, she said he is all for me diamond painting on a daily basis. Is that the happy wife, happy life tart part? Um, she said she purchased the cards and stickers so that she can sort out her spare diamonds um, since she's a new diamond painter. She says she figured she would get an early start since she doesn't have a lot of spares. Um, she says, which bags do you recommend? Um, so I personally like the thicker bags that you can get. They are definitely more expensive uh, and they are not a have to have. But I do like them. Um, I just find they stand up better and stuff. So they are linked. Um, the ones that I've got have shipped from Amazon.com. Uh, so they ship from America to me in the UK. Um, but I do have them linked on the website. So if you go to AdmiralZest.com, under Favourites, uh, there is a spare storage section there. And the thicker bags are linked as well as a cheaper version on eBay UK. Um, she says, these whip and waffles are good for my soul. She said, thanks for doing them, Rebecca, and she'll see me tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Laura. Um, nice to get sorted with your spares and stuff. It is nice to do it when you first start. If you find the process itself, is maybe you're feeling it's quite long, then build it up as you build up your spares. So maybe make your cards for it as you put your spares away. Uh, it really depends which, which works better for you. Some people prefer to have the whole system set up and some people prefer to do it as they're putting ones away. Um, but yeah, it's nice because then the system can just grow with you and you can just shuffle into new boxes as and when you need to. But anyway, that is today's section done. We are all connected down here. We've got a lot of work still to do at the top. So we shall see where it takes us tomorrow. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.